Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and today I have a really quick video for you guys. I'm going to show you how to make a sliding knot that you can use on necklaces or bracelets. The materials for this video will all be listed in the description box below, so make sure to check them out if you have any doubts and let's get started. There are other ways to make this type of knot, but this is the one that I find easiest to make. Start by cutting the cord. If you're making a necklace, you'll need enough to go around your head, plus a little more for the knots. Next, I just lay the cord like this, with the end on the right over the other one. This is the one that I'm going to knot first. Bend the end backwards and push it under the rest of the cord. Put it through the loop you just created, but do not tie it completely yet. Then wrap the cord around, putting it through the loop two more times like this, and then tighten it. Make sure it's not super tight or it will be hard to pull the cord through. Next, make the other knot. Once again, bend the end in the opposite direction and put it under the other two strands. Put it through the loop and wrap it around two more times, like this. Tighten it, see if it's working properly and check if it fits through your head. Trim the excess cord and to keep the knots from becoming undone and the ends from fraying, melt them using a lighter. Be careful and don't let the cord touch the flame, otherwise it will get burned. Using jump rings you can later add charms to personalize it. I made this one about 2 weeks ago and I wear it a lot. I just added a leaf charm and some beads on a net pin. And I also made this one with a narrow charm. If you want, you can use the same technique to create bracelets. Every step is the same, except your cord will be smaller, of course. And if you want to add beads, you need to do that before making the sliding knots. For this bracelet I added a row of beads, made knots on each end of the row to keep them from sliding, and made the sliding knots in the end. so much for watching if you have any doubts about this DIY leave them in the comments below and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate those notifications so you know every time I upload a new video and I guess I'll talk to you soon <laughs> bye Tell me goodbye You say that you're no good